this is Seoul's most expensive 3D printer, and it is also the most largest 3D printer. This is Seoul's cheapest printer, but it's not the smartest. This printer, however, it is smallest, but it costs $309. When hearing about the SB0 Max, SV07, and so Zero, many people wonder what is the difference between these printers. Does the increased number increase print area and printing speed? Are there any other performance improvements? This video will provide a comprehensive understanding of the difference between Seoul's printers. It will help you answer the common questions before buying printers. What kind of printer should I buy? And so will be your first or next printer. In many brands, why do you choose Sowo? This is a common question for those unfamiliar with Sowo. First, open source. While most printers are closed source, Sowo remain open source. We make every printer open source, and we upload the design joints to GitHub. Furthermore, as a tribute to the spirit of open source, we donated $2 to the Warrun community for every SB08 we sold. Until now, Sowo has donated $5,000. If you are a DIY enthusiast who enjoys spending time exploring, tinkering, and upgrading an open source printer, it's a perfect fit. Second, Sowo machines offer an excellent value. Our i3 structure printers are all priced under 350. For example, the SV07 with a build area of 220 by 220 by 250 millimeter, a print speed of 500 mm per second, and a 5 inch clipper screen is only $169. You can invest in a relatively affordable printers that supports most features. Therefore, even if you decide it's no longer sufficient for your daily needs, you can still print simple models. Third, most Sowo printers are ready to use right out of box. For beginners, assembly time for i3 structured printers is under 30 minutes. For Core XY structures, the SV08, based on the Voron 2.4 design, takes around 1 hour to assemble significantly less than the Warrant 2.4. Fourth, there is a great community atmosphere in Sowo. We are headquartered in Shenzhen, China. Due to time differences, our after-service staff can't solve your problem in real time. However, we actively maintain on our Facebook community and select European and American administrators to help. So within the Facebook community, there are many enthusiastic people who can help you resolve any 3D printing problems you encounter. If you are not satisfied with Sowo, you can also criticize us in the community. We listen to any feedback and will provide and will continue to improve our machine and services. Does Sowo have any shortcomings? Yes. Our machine currently do not support multicolor printing. Well, multicolor printing can result in significant waste of consumables. The need of for multicolor printing remains essential, and we are actively developing multicolor printing. The most important question is, which printer should I buy? The top priority is budget when buying a printer. So, introducing Sowo printers. I will start by explaining the models based on the price. If you only have 200 to spend, consider SB06 and SB07. The SB06 is priced at $189 in US and the SV7 is $169. You might be wondering why the SV07 released after SV06 is priced lower. Is it because the hardware is inferior to the SV06? That's not the case. I will explain the reason later. The SV06 is based on the open source Prosa MK3 printer. We also have designed made the design joints and accessories available on GitHub. For DIY enthusiasts who enjoy tinkering, open source software allows you to customize machine to your liking. The US price for this printer is 189 and its build volume is 200 by 200 by 250. The scene size is perfectly adequate for printing everyday decorative items and other common items. It comes pre-assembled at the factory, so assembly takes only 15 minutes. Its maximum print speed is 150 mm per second. Well, this might seem a bit slow, 
because this is a three-year-old printer. So it's significantly slower than today's printers. The SV06 features an all-metal hot-end extruder, making printing with flexible materials easier. Due to the excess lead screws and a step motor enhance printing accuracy, because this printer was released three years ago, it still uses the modeling system. The screen is a not-touch screen, but a LCD screen. There is no Wi-Fi connection. The printing can only be transformed via SD card. Some of the SV6 feature might seem a bit outdated, and its printing speed is also relatively slow. However, as an open source machine, you can upgrade it yourself to improve its performance. The SV07 is priced at $139 in the US. When this machine is a real steel, the SV07 boots the same build size as SV06. It features a 5-inch clear screen and an increased print speed of 500 mm per second. The extruder is equipped with these three fans for rapid cooling and excellent print quality. Furthermore, the SV07 can connect via Wi-Fi for remote printing. It also has filament run sensor and resume printing functions. Launched two years ago, the SV07 boosts three features for just $169, making it a real steal. Seeing this price, you might wonder why it's even cheaper than SV06. The design of this machine reflects our miscalculation of the market demand. The SV06 design, based on Prosa MK3, enjoyed high favorable market comments. However, the SV07 structure design, which replaced guide rails with a V wheel design, was perceived by the market as a step backward. Furthermore, this was our first clipper machine design, and the software wasn't optimized well. As a result, this powerful machine ultimately failed to gain market acceptance, leading to a price drop. If you have a budget of $300, consider the SB06 Ace. Priced at $239 in the US, it's an upgraded version of the SB06. Its build size is the same as the SB06, but its print speed has increased from 150 mm per second to 600 mm per second. The ACE sensor has been upgraded from an inductive sensor to a pressure sensor. Say goodbye to the tedious A4 paper leveling process. It also features pressure pre-calibrations and vibration compensation, effectively reducing layer shifts and improving print quality. Compared to the SV06, the Z-axis guide has been increased to 8 mm to 10 mm, enhancing printing stability. The ACE, the ACE one button self test function is effectively levels the machine, reducing spaghetti artifacts. The ACE also features a monitoring system for remote monitoring of the print process. Because some of the hardware is developed in collaboration with other manufacturers, the ACE isn't as open source as SP06. To improve printing per performance, we developed our own nodules, which is slightly from the market's available nodules. Therefore, shipping time from China can be quite long. If you are not satisfied with 220 and 220 and 250 size, and want to print larger models, such as cosplay models, you can consider SV06 Plus and SV7 Plus. The SV6 Plus has a print size of 300 by 300 by 340 millimeters and a print speed of 200. 15 mm per second compared to, to the SV06. And the SV07 Plus has a print size of 300 by 300 by 350. And the price is only at $229 in the US. If you think some of the features of the SV06 Plus and the SV7 Plus are not advanced enough, and you have enough budget, you can also consider SV06 Plus Ace, which costs $319. If you frequently print small gadgets, pursue the high speed, and have a sufficient budget, consider Solo Zero. This machine costs four ninety dollars in the US. Its field area is 150 by 150 by 150. You might wonder why such a small machine costs so much. 
The Soul Zero is based on the Warren 0.2 design. Compared to the Warren's assembled parts, time the Soul Zero shifts fully assembled and ready to use right out of box, significantly reducing assembly time. It features a frame type enclosed structure with a maximum heat bed temperature 120 degrees Celsius and a nozzle temperature 350 degrees Celsius. It also includes exhaust system and a print, ABS, and ASA materials. Fully linear guides along X, Y axis support high speed printing, effectively printing information and minimize artifacts during printing. The solar zero, power supply, and filament holder are located in different sizes, which undoubtedly increase the machine's whole footprint. Furthermore, solar zero features a rotating display, not a touchscreen. Even with glass doors closed, noise proceeds during printing. However, given its fast printing speed and also the extrusion flow speed, and also with two fans which has a large extrusion flow and a really fast pulling. The noise is negligible. If you have a budget of over $500 and require large prints, consider the SV08 and SV08 Max. The SV08 is priced at $519 in the US and has a build size of 350 by 350 by 345 millimeter. It boasts a maximum print speed of 700 mm per second and a maximum acceleration of 40,000 mm per square, making it ideal for everyday large scale printing. Based on the Warround 2.4 design, the SV08 is half the price of the Warround 2.4. Assembly takes approximately one hour, though it may take slightly longer for beginners. The SV08 utilizes linear guides on all X, Y, Z axes extending the machine's lifespan and improving wear resistance. The entire gantry system is controlled by four independent Z-axis motors, effectively improve printing accuracy. The SV08 is the Sowo's first quartz wire machine. We have made it open source, and you can find the machine's design joints and required accessories on GitHub. However, the SV08 can be quite noisy, and the fan runs even when the machine is not printing. In addition, both SV08 and Solo Zero have rotary knob screens, not touch screens. If you want to buy touch screen, you can purchase it on the Solo official website or other third party websites. If you think a 350mm printer isn't enough for you, a daily printing needs and have a sufficient budget, consider the SV0 Max. The SV0 Max has a build volume of 500 by 500 by 500. This large build size doesn't mean a reduction of its speed. The SV Max boosts a maximum print speed of 700 mm per second and a maximum acceleration of 40,000 mm per second. The SV Max features an 8 m thick aluminum bed and a 1300 watt of power. Heating the bed to 60 degrees takes approximately 40 minutes. 4 minutes and heating to 100 degrees Celsius takes like approximately 11.5 minutes. Furthermore, it features an intelligent auxiliary feeding system and provides automatic feeding, wrap protection, and jam protection. Furthermore, an anti cooling sensor effectively detects unevenness in the bed and ensures proper leveling before printing. As a large machine, the SV0 Max filament spool is only compatible with one kilogram of filament. However, when printing large models, three kilograms of filament is typically used. So customers will need to print three kilogram spools of filament themselves. Due to the large size of SV0 Max, the location where the customer placed it may be different from other machines. So, the original power cord we provided will be relatively short, and the customers will need to purchase a new power cord on their own.
If you need to print large items like furniture, consider the Max. Otherwise, the SV08 is perfect size. Purchase a printer based on your needs and budget. I hope this video helps you buy a Sobo 3 printer. Sobo is becoming the best band for your bike brand.